how do you take a legend that everyone loves and then make that legend even legendary er that's not a word but okay while well, a car company called Honda has been working in clear sight with the all-new Honda Civic Type R. This is one of the most awaited cars from all enthusiasts around the world. And how do you take the FK8 Civic Type R, which wasn't the most loved, and make it lovable for all the all-new honda civic type r is almost here and literally by the time i am uploading this video it is probably like the day it came out <laughs> and also i am so sincerely sorry for the lack of uploads lately i have just been having too much going on and also i'm on a new medicine that makes my lips like really really cracked so um just just to get that out of the way but let's get back on topic the all-new honda civic type r is here so here is everything that we know so far and everything that we do know so far that's already confirmed, which will be one beast of a machine. <laughs> So if you haven't already, please subscribe down below to help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of videos on this channel from everything from car reviews to vlogs to my personal opinions to in-depth redesigns. And I also make informative videos and short videos. So basically every single thing a car guy would want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. The sixth version of the Honda Civic Type R is here, specifically the 11th generation of the Honda Civic, but only five of them have have had the type R treatment, but a sixth one is coming in less than 100 hours, so it's time for a little history lesson. The first ever type R was based on the sixth generation Honda Civic from the 1990s. Then came the second generation type R, which was based on the seventh generation Civic. Then the third, fourth, then the fifth gen, which was extremely popular amongst enthusiasts, but also got a ton of criticism because of the way it looked and how outrageously overstyled it was. But despite its controversial design, it still was and is a blast to drive. They're tunable as heck, they handle so well that it can beat some supercars around a track, and the best part is, it's pretty darn affordable. <laughs> But then we have the all new 7th generation Honda Civic Type R that is based off of the current Civic, which is the 11th generation, which is a fantastic bargain for all that it offers to be honest. So as you already know, or if you don't know, the all new Type R will debut on July 20th, 2022, which is in like tomorrow or a few days whenever I upload this. To be honest, I have no idea when this video is going to go out, so um, just... It's gonna be very, very soon. But this car has been highly awaited by pretty much all enthusiasts. And that is because the last generation Honda Civic Type R was so good, so you would expect the newer generation to be even better, right? Well, let's just wait and see because to many enthusiasts, hybrid cars aren't as exciting as pure combustion engine cars, but I don't really see how that affects it being a good car or a less good car than it already is. But the reason I'm talking about this is that this new 6th gen Honda Civic Type R will be the last pure combustion only Honda Civic Type R that will ever be made. So every future Honda Civic Type R will have some sort of electrification, also known as electric motors and a hybrid system. So in summary, this will basically be just the last ever pure combustion Honda Civic Type R and every single Type R after this will be some sort of a hybrid. But seriously, um, someone please tell me how a hybrid system will make it less good of a driver's car. And speaking of which, three pedals are still staying for the Honda Civic Type R. Thank you, Honda, so much. Cars with manual transmissions are sadly being killed off by the automakers. And actually, if you think about it, very, very few car manufacturers actually still put stick shifts in their car. Yes, the good old-fashioned six-speed manual. And to honorably name a few, we have BMW, oh praise you BMW. We also have Subaru, but they're kind of starting to go away from the manual transmission unfortunately. We have the three big American car brands, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. But by the way things are going right now, I don't think Chevy is going to keep the manual gearbox for long unfortunately. But we also do have Porsche, Hyundai, Volkswagen, Mazda, Honda, and Toyota. The all-new GR Corolla is loved by, well, literally everyone that I have talked to for the most part because I haven't seen a single complaint about the GR Corolla so far, and its main rival will be, well, if you guessed it, it is the Honda Civic Type R. 
and also the Volkswagen Golf R, but the Type R mainly. Yeah, you get the point. But the Civic Type R has something that the Golf R and the GR Corolla doesn't have. Well, technically, it's what the Type R doesn't have, and that is all-wheel drive. The formula of the Type R was always a front-wheel driven hatchback that should be fun and engaging to drive, but all at an affordable price tag, and technology and engine development has advanced so much since the first Type R came out, and it never used to be turbocharged like it is today though. It used to be a high revving, naturally aspirated, lightweight machine, but of course things have changed so much since the 1990s. Is it in a good way or a bad way? Well, that's for you to decide. But turbocharging was introduced, which made the revs automatically go lower because of physics, and they're much more efficient, and since we've been in the horsepower wars with automakers since forever, of course the turbocharged engines are more powerful. Imagine if the all-new 2023 Honda Civic Type R still had around 200 horsepower. Now, that wouldn't really be appealing if you're looking for a high-performance hatchback that's affordable, would it? That's why they have to go with the new stuff and the auto industry changes, well, almost every single day, and regulations change, unfortunately, and that's why every single generation after it will be hybrid, so, yeah. That's not a bad thing, though unless you're considering the weight gains. So now let's talk pricing. So my guess would be that it would start around for the base model would be around $36,000 and then go all the way up to around $50,000 US dollars for the top trim model. Now that's a lot for a Honda Civic if you think about it, but again, this thing will have quite a lot of horsepower for what it is and it's still relatively fast and actually it could beat some supercars around the ring if you know what I mean. Now again, all of these assumptions are just an assumption, so $50,000 seems like a heck of a lot for a freaking Honda Civic, and it doesn't really sound cheap either. Because the Honda Civic is supposed to be affordable, right? Well, $50,000, as I said, it doesn't sound cheap at all, but given the current market, the average price for a brand new car right now is $47,000 US dollars, so this is still priced relatively affordably again this is just my assumptions and this is not the real price but that's just my estimate which is just an educated guess the outgoing honda civic type r produced 306 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque so my guess for the horsepower and torque numbers are 335 horsepower and 315 pound feet of torque for the new one some reports do say that it will have up to 400 horsepower but I don't know. That seems a little over-exaggerated, you know, because 400 horsepower, like, that's, that's a lot of power. Especially for only the front wheels powering this thing. Yeah, I'm going with 335 horsepower. Lock it in. That's my guess. My guess for the engine would also be the 2-liter turbocharged 4-banger, which is an inline 4, with a single turbo slapped onto it, which makes some pretty cool turbo noises in the previous generation. <laughs> So hopefully in this generation, it will be just absolutely insane. But given the stricter emission regulations, I'm not counting on it to sound better than the previous generation. And speaking of exhaust sounds, this will have like the same triple exit exhaust that the previous generation Civic Type R had, which looked pretty cool. But I don't know if they should keep it for this one. I think dual exhaust would look perfect on this because it's going to have a very simplistic design compared to the old one. And we will talk about design later though. Now the paint colors of the new Type R have actually already been leaked. And some of the colors include Grey Pearl Championship White, Rally Red, Boost Blue Pearl, Sonic, and Crystal Black Pearl. And since we're on the topic of colors, of course the design of the car will make one color look better than the other color. So let's discuss it. As I was saying, the design of the last Type R looked like it was designed to attract a four-year-old <clears throat> or in other words it was extremely overstyled and every line didn't connect to another which really didn't make it pleasing to the eye the new 11th generation of the honda civic is in many car lovers eyes a much better design than the 10th generation civic because the styling is much more cleaned up compared to the last model the lines are simplistic and elegant, unlike the last one, which had so many broken up lines that may look cool, but was it pleasing to look at? Well, if you ask me and most enthusiasts, no. The design of the 10th generation Civic Type R had so many fake vents, and I'm not exaggerating right now, but literally every single angle that you look at that car, it had a fake vent somewhere. And I don't know if other people feel the same way that I do, but I think it kind of looked like a cheap body kit from Amazon that was slapped on the car. I don't know how else to describe it. 
The Civic Type R has always been a hatchback, and as time evolved from generation to generation, to generation to generation to generation, and so on, the hatchback design doesn't seem to even be a hatchback design anymore, because in the newest Civic hatchback, keep in mind I quoted new Civic hatchback, because it literally looks like a sedan or sportback. Which is a fancy word for sedan. The new Type R will be looking to dominate lap records, specifically for the front wheel drive segment. And of course this means that it is going to handle around corners extremely well, and it will definitely come with some sticky tires from the factory, but maybe that will tone down the fun factor a little bit when you're trying to do front wheel drive launches and get a little bit of tire spin, you know? But this car isn't about doing that. If you want that, get the Civic Si. Janace, I'm talking about you. But if you want faster lap times, this is going to be the car for you. And if you want simplistic design, that's probably also going to shoot up in value a lot because the current generation is already shooting up like crazy. It's like doubled in the past six months. But if you're looking for a fast, affordable, fun hatchback with a manual transmission in 2023, that is also tunable. And did I say fun to drive? The all-new Honda Civic Type R is for you. But that is basically it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already because it would help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of videos on this channel from everything from car reviews to vlogs to my personal opinions to redesigning cars to informative videos and even short videos. So basically every single thing a car guy would want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. But again, I am so so sorry for not uploading more often. I had a lot of things going on and I still actually do. So I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible. But again, I still have so many things to do. My Instagram got hacked twice in the past month. So I'm still trying to get my account back and get everything settled. And I'm also looking for a job. So that's also taking quite a bit of time away from editing. And my newest video that I probably will upload after this video, that video started off as, as 100 minutes. So almost two hours long. And every single time I like cut the clip, it takes like 30 seconds to load so that's why i haven't uploaded but if you did enjoy today's video i hope to see you in a future video and bye for now